loves Sonic the Hedgehog and wants some more Sonic the Hedgehog, then allow me to introduce you to some Sonic the Hedgehog-esque games. Now, what exactly counts as a Sonic game? I guess in my eyes, it's gotta have a lovable, quirky protagonist that's possibly furry, running fast in a satisfying manner, and uh, I guess that's it. So let's continue our journey of checking out some Sonic-inspired games. I think I'm already in love with this one. This is Pizza Tower. Oh god, go, 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 you're gonna be late! Oh, hello, Snick. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Um, right off the bat, this art style, it just reminds me of... I don't know, like Nickelodeon in the 90s. Just that dirty, classy Chupo look, if you know what I mean. Snick, it's him! Oh god, whoop his butt! So he kind of moves like Sonic with the momentum, but... With the way you're breaking through these walls and him being a big ol' fatty... Oh, it's it looks like a mix of Wario Land and uh, Sonic. Look at this guy! I don't want to hurt that guy, man. He looks nice. Oh, man, that's... Oh, that's so satisfying. Where am I? Oh, gosh. I'm tripping. This aesthetic style, I just love it. It feels so grungy, and it's so, it's so fluid, too. Like, every little movement has some type of... Oh! Some kind of animation to it that's really in-depth. Let's just do a dash again, because that's really fun. Oh, okay, okay, we gotta time it. Jump! Yeah! Peanut butter! The sacred peanut butter. Yes, the secret treasure. Here we go, to the Pizza Mart! No, hold on, we gotta go to the Pizza Mart. Up, grab, shoot, I can get a gun. This guy can get a gun, oh god. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, I guess you're gonna be the unlucky bastard who gets the test. Wow. Excuse me. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, who are these little fellas? How long have they been following me around? I've been too busy just focusing on all the destruction. I didn't even notice I had little fellas. Oh. Oh, get to the exit. Get to the exit. Okay. Okay, that's not an exit. <laughs> Where's the exit? Oh man, we did it! That was sea bad. You know what? Who are you to judge me with that face? Alright, so Pizza Tower may be like one of my new favorite games of all time, and I'm not even trying to exaggerate. I love the fast-paced nature that you have, like Sonic the Hedgehog, but the destruction of also just being able to ram into anything and having nothing stopping you, it feels so good every single time. Like, you think it might get old, but it doesn't. But my absolute favorite thing about this game has to be the aesthetics. That hand-drawn, 90s, Nickelodeon aesthetics that... that's the only thing I can think of every time I see it. I'm not sure if there's a full game release yet. This demo was obviously released in 2019, but I don't know. I really hope that this game actually becomes a fully realized game. Okay, this is Eversleep Lunstis Gar Ga Gaiden. I almost messed up that word three different times. Oh my goodness. Alright, what are the controls? Wazd moves you around, spacebar jumps. Oh man, I gotta hook up a controller for the- Ah! Okay, now we're in business, baby. Now this is much more doable. And already with the controller, this feels awesome. Man, this has such an old school feel. Like, I don't know what it is, but 100% this feels like something you could have played on the Nintendo 64. So does it act like a- oh, it kind of acts like a third jump, like in uh, Mario Galaxy. Just whoop! Whoop! Heck yeah, we did it! This is also going to be somebody's crush very, very quickly. C rating! Just like in the last game, I got a C. 
This is very much like another one of those games that you can play like before bed. Because <laughs> it's so. Oh, Jesus. So that was Eversleep Lunastus Gaiden. A really simple yet satisfying game. At the core of it, you're kind of just thrown into this dreamlike level where all these platforms and Japanese inspired kind of areas are just floating in the sky and you're just running and jumping, but it feels so satisfying to do. I know if you were watching it, it may have looked too simple, but it has such a charm to it. Like I said, it feels like parkour where you can just keep running around and nothing can stop you. It's, it's very fun. I would 100% recommend this game for everyone. Alright, so if you'll remember in my last video about Sonic games, we made, we talked about Fetch the Ferret, which was like the tech demo looking game. Um, the creators of the game actually reached out to me and emailed me saying that, yeah, what I played was very much just like a, a, like a, a tech demo. <laughs> and that, oh god, I'm going crazy right now. And that what they have is actually, you know, a more completed game, which yeah, here it is. Yeah, thanks for reaching out to me, because now I get to play, kind of, I don't remember if he said this was the actual game, or if it's just another build, but, I don't know, man, I'm having a great time again. Uh-oh. We going somewhere? So you're about to play a rhythm, I think, area. It's a bit different from the rest. Okay. I kind of like that. Let's see what we got. Have fun. Hope you'll like the music. Okay. All right, all right, I'm pretty, oh God. So, hold on. Do I wanna jump? Okay, not, I don't wanna touch the pink lines. Oh, dude. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, I, I have nothing to say right now apart from holy crap. I was 100% not expecting this. When, when they sent me the email saying, yeah, we got like a, a more full game than what you played. I genuinely didn't know what to expect. It wasn't a rhythm game section and still an open world outside where I could still fly and run. Holy crap, this is so awesome. Oh, I died. <laughs> wow, all right, so Fetch the Ferret updated is amazing. I honestly was blown away from the tech demo. The fact that this part of the game exists is just amazing. Whatever you guys are doing over there, Keep it up. Everything you are doing is a home run. And I know all I've seen so far is running around, flying, and then that music section, but that's honestly enough for me to have full confidence in that anything you guys do with Fetch the Ferret is going to be amazing. Amazing! Please, everyone, doubt this is... If anything, I have a feeling Fetch the Ferret will be the number one game in this video that I'm going to recommend, so... 100%. A++ again for what you guys have there. Oh, that's right. It's Seven Granddad Mania Revived. I mean, this is, this is gonna probably be a great time. Granddad! There it is. All right, adventure, time trials, screw it, bro. Let's do the adventure. So what we have here is Grand... Ah, yeah! The fricker is Granddad the the game the bootleg now having a remade revised revived new epic look for a modern ge modern generation. Dang it, dude! Why is this game actually kind of difficult? Now, for those of you in the know, Granddad is actually just the Flintstones NES game, but respreaded with Mario because bootleggers just like to have a great time. Come on, come down here, come down here. I'm not, I'm not getting baited. So basically, if you're a Flintstones on NES fan, then oh Jesus, oh my God, this game is so difficult. 
Oh, there we oh, you got me. Okay, I think I think we're done here. So yeah, that's Granddad Mania. It's a meme game made by fans for fans. A fun little tribute, a fun little project. For some reason, I suck at it. I'm a little upset at myself that I <laughs> I'm I'm dying so much. But you know what? If you're actually good at video games and you like memes, then check out Granddad Mania. All right, Chaos Dynasty Honey. A simple, yet very attractive, grabbable name. Who am I here? What's going on? Okay. We're just, we're just running. We're just running in place. We're just running in place. I'm trying to look at your face. Oh, okay. He or she or they or them is cute. Oh, okay, we got rings. I see what we're doing here. We got a little... <laughs> oh, it's pretty cool. Damn, all right, all right. Oh, damn it. Now, I am dying a good bit, but I promise you it's no fault of the game. I am not, I'm just not very good with 3D Sonic controls. All right, so I'm 100% willing to blame it on me that I cannot find these two keys anywhere. But yeah, I cannot find these two keys anywhere, so. You know, I don't know, maybe, cause like, here you go. You come here. And you think, oh, this big temple with these with this thing is where I want to go, but no, oh, no. See, it's, you can't really go anywhere from here. But that's where your eyes immediately are attracted to. You think, oh, can I make this jump here? Can I make any of this? No, you can't. It's 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 a fun game, but I guess I'm just struggling with it. So Chaos Dynasty Honey has some cool concepts. I love the aesthetic. I love any attempt at like a 3D Sonic. Just a little too mazy for me, you know? <laughs> it's a good attempt. I actually, I would love to play it again very much with a few more polished things, but still 100% check it out. Like this person deserves support for everything that they're doing in this game. So keep it up. Um, okay, this is Ball Stars of the Animal Kingdom. <laughs> and just judging by these three characters, I think I'm already gonna love it. <laughs> okay, so yes, this is an online only game. I don't think there's anyone playing. <laughs> Damn it! Alright, fine, I'll do practice. I don't care, I'll play by myself. Okay, we got Jolene the raccoon. Poppy the, the, the puffer fish and Jean Pierre the dirty mouse. I like this one. Show me your moves. So is it just like a, a like a soccer kind of game? Maybe? Where am I going? Oh, there's your goal. Claire, get in the goal! Nice. Now I would imagine if you were uh <laughs> playing with people, you could also bonk them on the head. Yeah, it's hard because I can't really judge it because I'm not playing with people like that's the whole thing like by myself I can see the appeal of it. I can see why this could cause it for a fun time Especially if you added like more characters and more, you know, maybe you could customize them a little bit That would obviously this would be really cool This would be a fun sports action game that is a genre that doesn't really exist at all But I could definitely tell it has potential and hey this video is here to grow these games and give them attention, so if you are watching this, 100% please, you know, download the game and get these lobbies full. And who knows, maybe you'll run into a game with me. Alright, this is Cosmic Bowl. Okay, I've heard that sound before. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Attack, attack. Oh my god, I could just whoop their ass. Are you kidding me? I could just... Oh, that is so fun. Oh god, oh god, oh my god, dude. This thing is insane. Okay, thanks for that epic tutorial where I just beat the crap out of everything. Now listen, I'm a sucker for any video game that lets you punch the crap out of things and just combo them to death. That is so good. This has some satisfying combat. I love Cosmic Ball. Cosmic Bowl. 
Whatever your name is, I'm sorry. I don't want to upset you because I know you can beat the crap out of me. Oh, special move time! <laughs> this freaking Street Fighter special ability right there. Oh my god. I am absolutely in love with this game. Oh, we're gonna run in a circle. I've seen this before. See? It's a Sonic game. <laughs> Hate to do it to you guys. Oh my god. That is so cool. Alright, so Cosmic Bowl is... Um, you know what? I said Fetch the Ferret may be the best game we see today. The Cosmic Ball is definitely tied up there, simply because I love the fast running and the fast combat and the insane Street Fighter abilities you can get. I don't know, man. This game is pure fun. You can play and say, oh, it's just Sonic, but... I don't care. I think this game is super, super fun, and I recommend everyone who loves Sonic, who loves arcade beat-em-ups, to check it out. I think the only thing that could make this game better is if you somehow added four-player co-op, and then that way it becomes just an even more insane, uh, you know, fast-running game with punching the crap out of things with friends. That would make it so perfect. And those were some Sonic Light games. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe for more. Let me know what you think. Let me know your favorite Sonic games. I'm sure there's a million more out there I have to check out. So have a great day. I'll see you next time.